Hello. We are working on number 83 today. 83. So violins and violas, you're learning the new technique of using your fourth finger finally. Cellos and bass, this is just an easy test week for you all. That's all it is. Violins and violas have the hard thing. They have to learn how to use their pinky finally. Um, so we're going to start off by clapping and counting number 83. I guess you all are testing on half notes too. So let's go ahead and clap and count 83. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's say note names. You can do your fingerings along if you'd like. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, F sharp, E, D, D. And last but not least, that whole group, let's rock a bow. One, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, 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 down, up. All right, now we're going to break up into individual instruments, starting with violin. Violins. We're finally learning that fourth finger that you all have been asking about. So that's why we have our fourth tape already. You got to make sure that you have a nice straight wrist. If you're like this at all, you you can't physically reach your pinky out far enough to get there. If you open up your wrist, you can now extend that pinky a lot more. Okay. So do your best to be on the tip of it. Turn the better angle. Do your best to be up on the tip. If you need to flatten out a little bit, it's okay, but try to get up on the tip because that's the harder part of your finger. That's where it's going to actually sound better as you pitz it. Okay? Let's go ahead and pizzicato. They have it marked in here when they want you to do fourth finger versus open A. It should sound like the same note. Fourth finger, open. Should sound the same. One, two, Ready, pits. F sharp, F sharp, G, G, fourth finger, A, 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 G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, F sharp, E. Go ahead and pick up your bow. Let's try playing it with bow. Oh, one, two, ready, and. That's how you play number 83 on violin. Moving on to viola. Violas. We're 
we're going to start off by pizzicatoing. We're using our fourth finger now to get to A. So we need to try to be up our tip, the pit, the tip of your pinky. That's where you're going to get the best tone. If you need to flatten out a little bit because your hands are too small, that's okay. Try your best to get up on that tip. Helps if you pull the elbow under a little bit more and you have to have a straight wrist. If you have this kind of hand, look, I can't move my pinky away from my ring finger, but if I straighten it out, suddenly I have all this extra moving room. So we need to make sure we have a nice straight wrist. Like I said, tip of the pinky, try and get you a better view. Try and get the tip of the pinky down on that tape. It should sound the same. It should be the same as your open A. Okay, so that's what we're going for. Let's pizzicato A3. One, two, ready, and G, G, A, 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 G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, open A, fourth finger, A, G, F sharp, B, D, D. The reason they have you go from fourth finger to open A is they want you to be checking, make sure, are you playing the same note or has your finger gone flat? A lot of times people don't reach up all the way. They want you to hear if you're playing the same note or not. All right, let's go ahead and play it with bow. One, two, Ready, play. That's how you play it on viola. Moving on to cello. All right, cellos, you are up. There's nothing new for you all to really learn this song other than the fact that we're using long bows for half notes. You don't have to worry about learning a new type of fingering or anything like that, like the violins and violas do. So let's start off with pizzicato. Should put the bow back down. Pizzicato. Oh, one, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A. Can go ahead and pick up our bow. Remember, laying the cello, do all the work. Bend fingers, nice, beautiful bow hold. Check your bow hold. Always check your bow hold. Uh, one, two, ready, and. <laughs> All right, bass players. As always, the camera. There we go. It's important for you all to be able to see the bow for this 
for the first chunk of time that you're learning how to play with the bow. All right, number 83. We're starting on F sharp. You all don't have to learn anything new fingering wise. Um, you just gotta make sure you're using enough bow for those half notes. We don't wanna cut them short. Bow down, pizzicato. I keep forgetting that. Pizzicato. All right, we're starting on F sharp. So make sure you have your elbows up and now away from your body. F sharp is the first note. One, two, ready, and F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, 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 G, F sharp, E, D, D. Now we pick up the bow. Boom. Nice relaxed fingers. Beautiful bow hold. Let the instrument hold the bow. Relax your shoulder and arm. Uh, one, two, ready, and... That's how you play it on bass. Bye.